So let's talk about the physiology of that piece where taking time, going to the gym, putting on muscle, especially in the legs, is going to help with your metabolic health down the line. Well, actually, uh, let me, if I could, take it in a, in a similar direction, but talk about a couple of things that I think are very help, helpful to think about. And it's two different components of muscles. First of all, if we realize that these muscles that support us, the thighs, hips, calves, um, they are our largest muscle mass. Um, you know, back in the uh, pumping iron days, the bodybuilders used to talk about uh, new bodybuilders. And they'd say, yeah, he came in, he just worked his arms like crazy, and he's getting nowhere. And the other advanced bodybuilders knew why. He wasn't working his legs. If you don't work your legs, you don't really change your metabolism. And we always talk about that with our patients because, and we say, look, we're not trying to make you a bodybuilder. What we're trying to do is change your metabolism. Now, there's two major components to these large muscles of the legs that are important. One is the capillaries that we talked about a few minutes ago, the major area of real estate, the major uh, uh, area of real estate for the insulin receptors and the major area of interface between the blood supply and the muscle. But there's another key component. Anybody that's read anything about longevity for the past 50 years has probably heard about it, and it's called the mitochondria. So the mitochondria is very much related to strength, and that's where we start talking about getting some, you know, what you're talking about, going in preventively, making sure that you have good strength, hitting your 60s, your mid-60s, and making sure that you don't start to lose that muscle because mitochondria have been a part of the anti-aging formula or destroying mitochondria, losing mitochondria have been a big part of every aging, or not every aging, but the vast majority of aging mechanisms uh, discussed for the past 60 years. So first of all, you want to have strength. And then I'd get back to those capillaries and say, you also want to have uh, good capillary uh, penetration of those muscles. And that's where you, you come in with the oxygen deprivation or the hit, the rehit. So not only strength, but the capillaries as well. 